PHP 7 now gives us some new randomized functions. Now you may think that randomized data is quite easy. If I wanted to make a random string, then I could start, you know, messing around and putting some characters in here. But actually trying to get something to be truly random and very difficult to crack is very difficult. So what we have now is a more secure way to generate, let's say, salts. So I would pass in a random string with random numbers, characters, and symbols, and that would cryptographically encrypt our passwords, and then our passwords can be safely stored in a database. So if a hacker gets into our database, they have a scrambled password. They can't just look at that password and say, ah, I can log into that user's account and I can start to mess around with it. So storing passwords is actually quite difficult and it's a very secure process. And you should never just store passwords. You should always salt your passwords and you should try to make sure that they're not in standard plain English form. That's bad, bad practice. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. So we have two functions. We have random bytes that will generate a random string. And that string is going to be 100 characters long. So you need to pass in an integer that tells this function, I want to generate a string with X amount of characters in. So 100 characters, 200 characters whatever it may be. So I'm just going to generate a random string with 100 characters in it. Then also, I've just added in a few line breaks because now I want to use the random int function. This will generate a random integer. Note, it will not give you a floating point number. It doesn't want floating point numbers, it's whole integers. And what we need to do is give it a range. So I've said the minimum it has to be 10,000 and the maximum has to be 10 million. So generate a random number between 10,000 and 10 million. So that's the range and generate a random number between the min and max values. So if I go ahead and take a look at this in the browser, you can see it's made this really random string. Now we do have a few of these weird question marks right here. If I copy that out and paste it into a text editor, you can see here that these are some really special characters that it's generating, some really, really funny characters. And this actually makes it so much more secure when it comes to cryptography. So all that is is the fact that the actual font that we're using here doesn't actually have the glyph to display that particular symbol. So they are very, very special characters that we are using here. They're not just standard letters. They are very, very funny characters. And that will make for a very strong salt that we can use to encrypt our passwords. Now, likewise, we also have the random integer, which is 4,846,200 and 56. So again, you could go with some really, really big numbers here. Just keep adding all those zeros in, see what you can come up with. I mean, this will be quite a large number, but every time I refresh, it will just keep on randomly generating all of the different characters for the random string and also a random number as well. So this is actually really cool. It's a really nice feature in PHP because generating random numbers and generating random strings for salts is actually quite difficult. It's recommended to use some kind of program to get a decent string with very special characters. But now we can do this directly in PHP. So there are the two new functions in PHP 7, random bytes and random int.